Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. I have received a video from Mummy and Percy that I think you'll all be really excited to see. It's the moment she arrives and is greeted by Percy at the airport. And here it is. Here's what they sent me. Okay, so sometimes I struggle with the footage that they send me, but I thought you'd like to see what I'm working with. I will, however, say that to be fair, I think Mummy and Percy had far, far more important things to be thinking about than videoing at a time like that. They did, however, film some little clips over the next few days. And here is Mummy waking up on her first morning in Africa, wandering around the garden with her love. Seven, quarter past seven. How oh, lovely, my first morning here. Look at this. Wonderful sight, blue skies. And I thought I heard footsteps. Good morning. What a lovely, lovely sight. Don't get too used to it. It's only a first morning special. <laughs> yes, I'm well aware that you're not a tea giver. No, I'm not. So shall I add it a bit? Roses are straight, my love. <laughs> Violets are blue. Sugar is sweet, my love. But not as sweet as you. <laughs> oh, darling. Even a performance at this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it for... So, what did you bring me? Okay, this is uh, your tea, as you always want. Yes, and, and get South myself Af <laughs> South African rusks, and that's buttermilk. Yes. And to come back to the muesli, that's muesli and fruit. Thank you, darling. That's very, very kind. <laughs> um, okay. But darling, you're doing so well that perhaps you should keep it up. No, I just want to show you I am quite practiced, but I do not practice the over practice. That's too much. <laughs> Where are you going? It's oh. 30 degrees and you're walking around in the sun. Yeah, well, just five minutes. I noticed yesterday that the rose there has got suckers. I'm going to take them down. I shan't be long. Well, you didn't keep out of the garden for long, did you? If it's not the garden at the chateau, then it's got to be the garden here. There, you're done. See, it didn't take long, so don't scold me. Did you hear it? She's saying thank you. No, it's the bird saying thank you. He's going to come and have some of that greenery. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the food I put out for the birds. Yes, I did look at it. And I was looking at the trees. Look at those, uh, what's their name again? The jacaranda tree. Jacaranda. One over there. Yes. It's always difficult to see them against the blue sky. Yes, it is. But this then, one shows a bit better. And this one there. It's lovely. And it's a shame, but in this jacaranda, you told me and I looked, you have a bird's nest, but the weaver bird, the yellow weaver bird, is absolutely adorable. I watched him this morning, just busy, busy in one of his nests. Yes, he built, he's built six nests. There. there they are. Yes, there they are. He's a developer weaver bird. And very 
And whilst we're on family reunions, here is a little update from Jerry, who's supposed to come and visit us, but can't because of lockdown. Good evening, lovely Lowlanders. Welcome to Framlingham. Now you can see right behind me is the magnificent Framlingham Castle. I was supposed to be in France with Stephanie, but my flights has all been cancelled. Now, it's just a quick update. I'm hoping to be back in the chateau as soon as possible. We're actually in lockdown here in the UK so there's nothing happening nothing moving and if I show you there's not a person to be seen not a soul it's like 28 days later it's just we me and Framlingham Castle but it was quite funny Stephanie I was watching your vlog about when you were up in the tree and you were stuck up in the tree I remember as a child I used to love climbing trees and I remember I was climbing up the top of this tree and my mother shouts up at me, if you fall off that tree and break your leg, don't come running to me. Never worked that one out. Right, I'm going to go for a cup of tea because it's quite chilly now. I'm sending all my love from Framlingham. Take care, everybody. For this love of this beautiful princess of Chateau de la Lande, we thank ourselves truly and we will come back whenever our destiny brings us. Well, I hope it will bring you back very soon because I'm very hungry for Kachapuri. You see? <laughs> we sang whole romance and she only thinks about her son. <laughs> it was so good having you both here. Come back soon, won't you? We will. But if not, I will see you in Amsterdam, both of you, at your restaurant, Levan. Okay, fantastic. Sounds great. Deal. It's been wonderful. I'm going to wave everybody here goodbye. Okay. Thanks, sir. Well, what is happening in here? Oh, Selma, this has massively moved forward. Massively. Look how clean it looks. Yeah, it's great, yeah? It's the cleanliness that I love more than anything. Have you fit behind? Come yeah. On. Oh. Yeah. So now this is going to be wood. Eh? Yes. I can make it a nice color. That is fantastic. Just have to measure the, uh, the lamp and then I can point it out yeah. and make something to hang the Hang it. <laughs> fantastic. Because it cannot be on the board. <laughs> so team chandelier on the case. Another chandelier. <laughs> and then we have to wait for the lamps for the sides. Then I can measure it. With I've the, ordered them and they should yeah. arrive. I mean, I'm they hoping this week. Yeah, yeah. 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 see it. It's two here. Right, okay. So you can yeah, yeah. split it and, yeah. and two here. And one so there'll there. be two chandeliers one there and, one and two wall lights. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so chandelier here, chandelier here, yeah. and, and two, two, two wall lights. lights. Yeah. Okay. Now, the tiles <clears> I wanted to talk to you about because I have found pretty much similar to what we have, I found the proper 18th century. Oh. stone flagstones okay so i was thinking shall we carry on with the but same thing how, how thick thick are they um <laughs> they might be a little bit thicker i think they're like six or something <laughs> yeah. they're, they're you thick big, you got a big, that big drill like all the way the floor out <laughs> well we have to try it because that, yeah. is, that is nicer it, uh, yeah. that's what i was uh, thinking yeah. doing it well let's because do it properly fine no so you'll always you see, see it, yeah. and okay you'll probably still see because these antique tiles they'll never be exactly the same color but at least they'll still yes. be solid flagstones size. same you size play yeah with it like that. yeah one big one small one big yeah, yeah. okay so that's quite exciting well, we wait then <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll go ahead. If you're happy, I'll show them to you on the internet. And if you're happy, I'll go ahead and order them. Yeah, because this is quite thick, or? Oh, they're very thick. They are very thick. Okay. Yeah. Let me show it later. Yeah. Great. Did you say you've chosen them? Like, for some yeah, I've chosen them, and uh, they're on their way with all of the bathroom fittings. Okay. Well, I'll run the cables for you today. Because it can all be the feel, um, to the ceiling, yeah. So yeah. that's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've really done a magnificent job, Salma, in here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's really precise here. It's also really precisely. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Mm. It takes more time to do it precisely, but I don't want to... It has to be straight, and I don't want to have... Uh, you don't need to, to, too many plaster, just 
Yeah. Enough is enough, and then you yeah. can do the wallpaper. And we're not we're not doing this in a in a rush. We don't need to rush it. We can just make sure we get it right. Make it really, really beautiful. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go to Brico. Just you can't stop myself. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> do you need anything, Salma? Do you want to come? Uh, well. Last day before lockdown. Yeah, but I I want to know because you have the the the, thing, the, the uh, something to put on the. the it's like the a tape. bands. Yeah, the tape. You know what I mean? I know of it. Yes. Yeah, maybe you can try it. We also here. I need some uh, tape for here. Okay. And then you do the plaster over it, and then you can wallpaper. So you want me yeah. to get tape for the plaster board tape? Okay. Yeah. Right. So for here in the corner, you know then. Yes. To make it smooth. Okay, I will go and look for That's that. All. Great. Yeah. Okay. You'll probably need it. Goodness knows what Philip and I will come back with this time. But <laughs> <laughs> a lot of different things. Loads of sub tape. <laughs> Ask for the, the tape and ask for a small sack of filler. All right. Follow well, out and I'll really check going, the workshop. Go get it. Okay. Natty, what a transformation. It is a dream. Oh. Dan. Dan. <laughs> wow. You have to come and see it from up here later. It looks amazing. Okay. Amazing. I see we don't have enough. The contrast is so good, isn't it? Oh. It's fantastic. You just uh, count up and let me know what else we need. But wow, I'm amazed. Yeah, it's going to look great, isn't it? It's stunning. Yeah. It's a little bit deceiving at the moment because these are higher than they will be because they've got to be planted. Yeah, so actually they're looking better right now yeah. than they will. Still, they'll look like that in a couple of years. By the end of next summer, they'll have pushed out over the door. You think so? If we, if we keep on top of it, yeah. Now that'll be great. I love the lavender as well. That different green in there looks yeah. really pretty. It well, doesn't it? So all the alliums are planted in here as well. Yeah. So we've got eight alliums per bed, so they'll come up as well. Oh, fantastic. The only green I don't like is the one in the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> It yes. Looks super green. No bueno. No bueno. Only green around the fountain. Mm -hmm. He wants to put some fish on it. <laughs> you want some fish in the fountain? Well, fish in lily pads, and then we don't ever have to clean it. It can just be a pond. <laughs> it's not a stupid idea. <laughs> how are you? Very good. How are you? Very well, thank you. What do you think of this? Lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. We're living in a chateau, Natty. We are, finally. <laughs> Before now, you know. <laughs> but now, yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. I had to come and get a closer look. It's too exciting. Looking good, isn't it? It's looking so good. I can't actually believe what a transformation it's made. Yeah. And the two greens, they just look so good. Such a good contrast of pink, the dark yeah. green. Yeah, and, and then the lighter here. green. And imagine with the purple allium as well. I mean, I think now looking at it because it's quite low and it's going to be low next year as well. Yeah. What about just like one thing here that's high, like an ob obelisk or something with something in? Yeah, like a climbing rose or something. I mean, we've got, a, I think we've got three or four climbing roses now in pots ready to go out somewhere. Okay. Um, but obviously they wouldn't be early spring. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it wouldn't also be nice to have them yeah, for a little well, yeah, bit of extra yeah. interest. But I think the obelisk would have to be pretty big because, you know, we have some little metal ones. I had tried them here, but they just looked a bit lost. Yeah, they just tried A bit like a mistake, you know, someone had just yeah. left something <laughs> hanging around. Yeah. Can you show me how you're actually planting these? Yeah, you dig in a hole and I'm conking it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that, really. Well because we don't know what this soil's like i'm just kind of mixing it yeah you know with a bit of this leaf mold yes i'm just doing that i have to say that they're not as small as i was expecting they're really not as bad I as i thought grow quicker than you think yeah they're really really healthy and as long as we keep feeding them and mm. whatever i think they'll be all right do you know yet how many more i need to order i'll have a count up i think it's about 60. sure Davy contacted and he wants jasmine grown up against the walls. Oh, okay. 
it should be amazing. Imagine the smell yeah, <laughs> with, the, yeah, yeah. with the windows up yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, you'd have to get the right type. I think you'd have to get a hardy one. Yeah, because we do get cold here mm -hmm. in winter. But he says he's got one in Belgium and he knows that it would be okay to minus 25. Look so really. then it would be yeah, all right yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Really, I love it. And so do the peacocks. They're checking it out, wondering if there's anything edible. They haven't edible. been around here yet, but I know it's a matter of time. Yeah, look, they're circling. I'm pretty sure now we've just got one boy. I think so too. Selma still thinks it's two boys and two girls, but I think it's one boy. Yeah. There's just one with a much fancier neck than the others. Yeah, there's one obviously different now, isn't there? Yeah. Which really probably still can't keep two boys together, but it gives you the option maybe to rehome one boy and one girl. Yeah, and actually, I think that the men are sort of okay if they've grown up together. They're fairly peaceful birds, actually. Right. But it would be nice to maybe give somebody a, a couple of peacocks because we can't have six, can we? No, it's... Poo-wise, it's unmanageable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'll let you get on. Good. But it's looking great. I can't believe Mummy's missing this. I'm going to send her footage. I know, yeah. Whilst Dan gets on with the box, let's go and see how Marie is. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> It's looking really pretty in here. Yeah, I tidied so, up. A You're little getting bit. ready for Christmas. I am. Well, yes, I am. <laughs> Can't start the decorations too early. No. This no. is a big house. <laughs> I know. I'm going to make an autumn wreath or two today for my videos. Nice. So, yeah, I was sent this um, by someone who follows me. and. Um, oh, how kind. I know, yeah. She sent me pie Beautiful. as well. Um, so these will go on the Christmas wreath. Yes. Uh, but this will be a dry foliage autumn wreath. Love it. Yeah. Just lots of different purple Look at the colours of these. Yeah. You got sedum from the garden. Mm. Yeah. Hello. We have a guest with... No way. Alfores. Oh, <laughs> it's the Argentinian Alfores. Yes. Mm. Oh, yes, please. I think please. you prefer the black one, right? Thank I love the white you. ones, but... Oh, that's so you good. Have... You're missing, Marie. <laughs> we'll just Pity. have to eat them all yes. ourselves. You what a shame. With the Dan and Andy that they just arrived. Mm. Thanks so much. You're welcome. And is this all going to be part of the autumn wreath? No, these are just my leftover flowers. Um, so this is the leftover vases and this is going to go on a wreath. I picked this the other day um, and it's uh, poisonous spindle wood. <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> Don't eat it. I do feel that this sometimes, when I come in, I mean, I'll just step back, everyone can see, it just feels a bit like a potions shop somehow <laughs> or like uh, a woodland fairy witch's abode. There's something magical about it. It's exactly what I'm going for. <laughs> oh, um, I repaired your wreaths by the way. Ooh. Yes. <gasps> You've got them all ready for Christmas. Yeah, I brought them all down because they were all uh, crumbly and mm. so I repaired them with wire. So they're ready to go uh, for decoration and then onto the doors. And then we got all the garlands. Um, you know, yes. Yeah. So I feel very lucky to live with you. Oh, I feel lucky to be here. So I can't wait to start. No, me too. I can't wait. <laughs> Love Christmas. I know, me too. Every day I come in here, there's something... Yeah, something mushroom. So Marie and Philip had cleared this room magnificently, really beautifully. And yeah. now Kat and Andy are clearing out what will be the china pantry so that we can actually make the china pantry. Yes, but they say it won't stay here forever. But <laughs> <laughs> every time I go into the studio, there's something new in sort of in the addition to this... Yeah, exhibition. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see you've also got a fire extinguisher, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's just new. It's a shame we can't reach it, but, you know. <laughs> that was the big thing that happened yesterday, is that suddenly all of the fire extinguishers were fitted around the entire chateau. Yeah. So many of them. Very sensible. I know. I, I felt <laughs> I had to do... It was time for something sensible to happen in my life. Yeah. That's the first of the sensible things. What? sensible. Well, I'm going to go and see how Kat's getting on okay. in the future China Pantry. Yeah. No. <laughs> see you later. What are you eating, Stephanie? Another alpha hover. <laughs> this is the second one. <laughs> but they're so good. Mm. I just didn't know such things existed. <laughs> mm. You should try the white, you know. I think you will like it too. Mm. Mm-hmm.
But I know the wipes are your favourites, and I love these, so why take your favourites away? <laughs> well, I share my favourite as well. Mm, with I just have one. Yeah. <laughs> There's just one Ian not joining the others. Come on, Ian. <laughs> look Sorry, behind what? you. Everywhere you look, there's an Ian. <laughs> there's an, another Ian. Um, this is what you can get for the um, plastering in, in West Elmer Ross. Okay, yeah. good. So this this will do a certain amount, but you probably want more. Yeah. So if you get a five kilo bag. So All right. A, a two in one. You got this. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, it's better. Solmar's concerned as to what we're going to come back with this time. <laughs> Understandably. <laughs> he should just come. I asked him. Yeah, but he's busy in there. He okay. wants us to pick it up. I mean, we'll be there anyway for frames, so. Yeah. You know what you're getting with that tape? We've uh, got this. We'll come back with three mice and a bunny rabbit. Okay. I'm going to the mouse. <laughs> Finally. No, no oh. you're not getting the mouse. Oh. <laughs> what a sky. At the beginning of the new lockdown, we've just got one more outing left before total lockdown. This is it. The last <coughs> shopping for at least a month, maybe six weeks. Yeah. And we've chosen Brico. <laughs> yeah. We've chosen the DIY store. <laughs> Making the most of it before lockdown. We've got lots of these because we've got some frames at home. I've been collecting secondhand frames in my use, but we don't have many small ones. And we're just trying to get enough frames to get through lockdown to start work on the gallery wall. Okay, I think I'll just get a couple more medium-sized ones. Do you remember how big the painting is? Annie made me. No, it's, I think it's bigger than that, the piece of paper. I think it's more like that. Is it bigger than this? Should we get a bigger one and a mount? Yeah, good idea, because that'll be prettier as well. Yeah, yeah I like that really slightly nice. golden look. It's really pretty. Ooh, I like with the green. Look. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I love mounts. I spent ages looking at the mounts. We know. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha! Yay, you found it! Oh. Oh, too big. <laughs> Drat. Okay. We finally found the small mounts. But is there going to be a white one with a green edge? That's the question on everyone's lips. White, blue. No, no. Grey. And that's a different size, but that is green. Would that size do though? Ah. For the big one? Yeah, for the big one. But is it bigger than the picture or not? We don't know. It's really nice though. That is the salt lick for the sheep. Okay, so we've got the salt lick for the sheep. We triumphantly, I'm fairly certain that is exactly what Ian asked for. We have the frames. What are we going to do next? It's squeaky. No, we don't. we're not getting the mouse. We've been over this. So what are we looking for? Well, I can't believe it, but I think we found it. Have you? Um, have you already? Yeah, because look, he said U100 RTV 3G1 50 millimeter cubed, 50 meters. And I looked at all of those things on Ian's text mm -hmm. and thought, impossible. And I found exactly the same configuration here. It's the first one you picked up, right? Yeah. Well, so I think, I think this is it. Great. Can it be that easy? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> One way to find out. Right. Good. Plasterboard tape. So as always, I'm completely baffled and bewildered because it turns out they have different types of tape for plasterboard. And I don't know which one Salma wants. I'm going to get both of these and then see what he needs. And the great news is there's loads more frames ready this time. They're going to be so gorgeous for the Chambre de Roger and these are for the kitchen. Oh, so great. It's a beautiful day, but I really want to show you progress on Nick's bathroom. So I'm going to have to make a dash for it because there's no way of getting there through the inside of the building. Oh. Umbrellas are for wimps. <laughs> just an idea to keep you dry, but okay. No, I'm going to do it. it I'm, I'm just going for it. I'll Here we it. go. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> yeah, in the dry. Oh, there's the lino. I wonder if any's gone down upstairs. Ian? 
Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's one of the Ians. Both of the Ians. Two Ians. What stereo? I got a brace of Ians. <laughs> both, both with the both perplexed at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> perplexed, a perplexed brace of Ians. The, the wow, I love the floor. What are you perplexed about? Um, the, the glass is just uh, not fitting within the framework. Oh, of the shower. Yeah, Am I allowed to walk on this floor? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. Hello, other Ian. Hello. I'm just being a little drip. Oh, the agony. <laughs> it's a typical French uh, puzzle. We just can't get the doors to line up. They're oh, all dear. exactly the same fittings at the top, but this one is considered to be lower than that one. That's bizarre. Very, very bizarre. I have to say, I wasn't certain about uh, lino, but this is really pretty. It's nice, it looks it? actually like proper tiles. It does, it's really pretty. It's really quite warm as well, yeah. The sink is fitted. It's and a nice size. marble tiles going on the bath. Exciting. It's a shower command. You'll just have to stay there and open and close the door for Nick when he needs a shower. Well, like a sort of valet. I probably wouldn't like a piece of bathroom already, but I don't, I don't want to share a shower with you. <laughs> I don't think I didn't want to share a shower, shower with me. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave you two to it. I can see I've come in at a, a very perplexing time. Well, I'm oh. just here to support the glass. I've got to get back to do the radiance. Well, I'm going to leave you to get on with it. Bye. Bye. See you later. Look who is back in the house. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken, chicky. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Nice. Really good. Are you happy to be home, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Matty, all of this looks scrumptious. Thank you. It's pizza night, one of my favourite nights. Yes, mm -hmm. and I brought you salt. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a favourite. Mm. What are the pizzas, Matty? So, it's just avocado. Um, sausage, oh, bacon. Yeah. Oh. Avocado. Oh, no. oh, I want everything. What do you put here? Did you put this, fruit? Is this in another no? one for Nati? No. Everybody has a special no food for Nati. There's no fruit. Olives there. Oh. Olives are not fruit. Nati, there's not that many. You can peel them off. <laughs> peel off your olives. Tell, tell that to I'm him. I'm happy. I'm happy. Tell that to him. You die. And you've got a great spot because you can eat all of her olives. Of this Messy. Pizza. Yes. <laughs> Welcome home. Cheers, all. Cheers. 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 We meet you last night. Yes. Oh. Cheers, Andy. Yeah. And goodbye to Andy. Yeah. We're going to miss you a lot, Andy. Yeah, exactly. It's been amazing. Yeah. And Thank I hope you. you're coming back. Yes, I enjoyed it. Excellent. Well, Thank cheers you. to Andy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really sad you're going. Yeah, okay. I'm sad too. Yeah. You probably should come joy. back. Yes, I'm coming back. Really? Yes. yes. Oh, I would like to show everyone before you go the beautiful book that you did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you mind showing yeah. us? No, yeah. Really? Uh, well, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Andy is an amazing artist and I really want to show you the book she's working on. This is the most beautiful sort of journal. Um, I wouldn't call it a sketchbook yes. because it's really proper watercolours. I mean, look at that. Look. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. It just captures the Grand Salon. And then the Grand Salon changed. Yes, yes. So my period. Yeah. Yes. You caught it as it was yeah. before. Yes, indeed. This is not finished yet. Okay. okay. This is one day in La Chartre. Yes. A cafe in a restaurant. Mm. And then Chambre de la Tour. Look, isn't that fantastic? Yes. That's your bedroom. Yes, it was lovely to stay mm. in here. Yes. And this was the view oh, yeah. out of the window. I went to Limoges. Uh, yes, the Porcelain Museum the in Limoges. The Porcelain Museum, yes. 
and then I draw quite quickly the things mm. I enjoy. And I went to Oradour sur Glane. Ah, oh, yes. yes. Very moving. A moving, yes. Yeah, mm. That's the city that the um, Nazis burnt down with everyone in the church. Indeed. Terrible. Yes. Oh, and of course, the peacocks. You had to have the peacocks. The whole peacocks, family. Yes. And he's telling by himself uh, one of my wings are not quite right. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, the entrance the hall. hall. Yes. This oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's gorgeous. It is. Yeah. It's just amazing how you capture the rooms. Yeah, the light, it's also mm. important. And then, of course, this was, this site is so nice because it is mm. really, if you are little and they ask you to draw a house, it is this and, <laughs> yeah, and a roof yeah. and a window. It just needed one door in the yeah, middle, one door didn't door it? In the middle, you missed. So it's your place, yeah. Nick. Yeah. yeah. And now the new yeah. courtyard indeed, new happening. Courtyard, yes, indeed. Yeah. And this is the last. Ah, yeah. except there's one more arriving, I think. Yes, there's one more coming. And this. Yeah. I love these. Mm -hmm. Mummy bought that pair for me for my oh, birthday. Really? Oh. Yes. So you have bought one, one of Andy's. One. Yes. One of the entrance hall. <gasps> yes. Is it? It's more oh, precise than this one. I haven't seen them together. Yeah. Totally different. I love yeah. it. Me too. <laughs> You you were lucky you spotted it first, yes. Philip. That's all I can say. She made it for yeah. me. Really? Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah, oh. he asked me when he saw this. Yeah. Brilliant. Really lovely for me. Superb. I've really been blown mm. away by your talent. Oh, thank you very and much. And it's beautiful to see the chateau captured like that. Yes. Because you captured the atmosphere yeah. as well as the look of it. Yeah. Philip's just run to get the frame that he bought for it and look, it's perfect. The green line in the mount brings it out beautifully. What a talented artist Andy is. I'm sorry that you'll be gone tomorrow. Oh yes, well, another time I will be here. Good. Hopefully. See you next yes. time. <laughs> A huge thank you to all of our patrons at La Lande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of La Lande, Yadel and Ether, Alice, Alan, Anna, Brandon and John, Michael, Daniela, Dan, Banda, Lauren Barnes, Vince Barone, Denise Behrens, Linda C. Bradley, Candice and Ed Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Veronica Castillo, Zoe Dork, Sakura Dennis, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Elle Fine, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Abigail Grant, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Helen Jacobs, Jimmy Kemp, David and Summer La Lande, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Frank Martin, Kim Matlock, Meredith, Robert Miller, Kathy Nori, JC Award, MP, Maureen Palmer, Tamara Price, Amin Rahman, Tonya Renee, Yvonne and Peter Richards, RJB, Bettina Rojak, Hanny Ross, Elizabeth Scanlan, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Jenny Stevenson, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordanazzo. And thank you to all of you. Thank you.